Spencer is here for sunsetspeedway.ca, post race at the Leland 300 with our sixth place finisher tonight and our fast qualifier, my buddy Gary Clute. Gary, a phenomenal run for you guys. I mean, a bit of an up and down day. I know that uh, the car got banged around a little bit. Tell me a little about your, uh, your second time uh, short track racing with the NCAT series. Yeah, it was a tough run. I've never run that many laps in a row, that's for sure. Uh, you know, we guessed a little bit with the setup and uh, the track, I guess, got a little bit looser and, as opposed to getting tighter. So we struggled a little bit, so we'll go back to the notes. But, um, you know, we just hung in there in uh, sixth place. It's never bad, uh, you know, a couple tire marks on the car and that's nothing. I mean, to go that long under a green flag run, over 200 laps green flag, it, it, have you ever done that ever in your career? I mean, that's that's a, a test of endurance right there. No, I've, I've done endurance races shorter than that. <laughs> No, seriously, that's, that was really tough. It was really tough. I'm not a short track guy, and I have a whole new respect for running 300 lap screen, that's for sure. This is where it pays off to get in the gym and get on the bike, right? Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm in the gym all the time, but it's like skiing. You're never in shape until you're in the car doing 300 laps. I mean, you guys have just are just continuing to knock down these impressive performances. You're turning heads. I mean, if you look on social media, everyone buzzing about you setting, another, uh, setting fast time this afternoon. I mean, is, is all of this sort of going according to plan? Did you know that this team was capable of, of laying down a season like this in 2015? Yeah, I mean, as long as the equipment's good, uh, you know, I have, I have confidence in myself. Um, you know, we're, we're good on those qualifying runs, but we just got to work on our long-term package, and then I think we'll be there uh, at the end. Were you able to apply much of what you learned last week at Chaudière to, to the way you attacked Sunset? Yeah, yeah, I mean, just it's just the focus, you know, uh, on the road courses, you take a breath and you're fine. Here you take a breath and four guys go by it. <laughs> well, now we get to, we're, we're sort of going back into your comfort zone. We're going to ICAR next. You've had some experience there, you've had some good runs there, so give me a little bit of a preview. What do we have to look forward to in a couple of weeks? It'll be my second time at ICAR. Uh, last time we had a pretty big push, we missed the setup a little bit. I think we uh, ended up with an eighth place finish. Um, but uh, we, we learned a lot at Three Rivers the following uh, road course, so I, I think we'll apply that to iCar, and I think we'll have a pretty good car. None of this happens without the people behind the scenes. You see the dedicated crew right there, getting the car tied down for you. The marketing partners that they, they get you to the Speedway, thank the folks that make all this a reality. I mean, I gotta thank CTL, they're on the hood. They're, they're with me 100% all season. Uh, Thermal Technology Services Limited, they're on the quarter for this race, and uh, they're helping us out big time. That was a good one, uh, Eric came out. And uh, gotta thank uh, Secure Core, Pastime, Titan Productions, those guys are out there and uh, we're all having fun. Where can we follow you on social media? Gary Clute everything. Twitter, Instagram, <laughs> and Facebook. Alright buddy, well hey, safe trip home. Congrats on the 6th place finish. We'll check in with you at iCar in a couple of weeks. Thanks man.